The first creative cake I ever made was a, a 3D skull cake for my best friend during BMC. And uh, since then I've also done a cross-section of a cell cake. And I actually did uh, a textbook cake of the previous edition of Moore's Clinically Oriented Anatomy um, for our launch meeting for that project. My name's Natalie Infin, and I am a medical illustrator at Imagineering. Biomedical illustrator is somebody who takes uh, medical or scientific content and translates that visually into um, an illustration or interactive piece um, that demonstrates the scientific content of that subject. So uh, this book is uh, Moore's Clinically Oriented Anatomy, the seventh edition, and uh, that was a really exciting project for me because that was the textbook that I used during both my undergrad and my master's degree programs in human anatomy. I had been studying from the older versions of this textbook for years of my life, and then here working at Imagineering, we were approached uh, to sort of reinvent the art program and make it all cohesive. So we actually took about 1,100 illustrations from the previous edition and we redrew them all um, to make them just a lot more current and updated. And now this is the seventh edition that students are using in school. And that's probably been my most exciting project that I've been able to work on. I've been drawing since I could pick up a crayon or a pencil. Uh, I did take art courses in, in high school, um, but I feel like a lot of it is self-taught and I think a lot of it is learning to draw what you see instead of drawing what you think you see and just learning to see the world through that lens of um, reality instead of sort of uh, a construction in your mind. I spend most of my days actually drawing um, on the computer using a Wacom tablet uh, in Photoshop or Illustrator. An illustration can take from 10 minutes to three days. <laughs> it all depends on the, um, the level of complexity and the style that we're using for that illustration. So most of our work goes into educational textbooks um, for anatomy, physiology, and biology. And those are the subjects that I was really passionate about as a student, and I feel like I'm able to use my creative forces to kind of give back and help other people learn and be excited about those topics. So every time I do an illustration, I often have to research the content behind it. So I'm by no means an expert in every single part of human anatomy, but I'm always learning about it whenever I have to do an illustration about a certain part of the body. Um, and that, that's what really excites me is I, I always get to learn even while I'm teaching other people visually. When a company is looking to hire a medical illustrator or animator, um, some of the skills they would be looking for would be solid um, production skills, so production in terms of illustration or animation. Uh, time management is definitely a big one. Um, because we always have deadlines and budgets to adhere to. Communication skills are really important. Um, we're visual communicators, but we also have to talk to all, all of our project managers and clients and make sure that we have a really clear vision for uh, the work that we're going to be doing. The industry is definitely changing very quickly. Um, it, we've always been known as an illustration studio, but that is quickly changing as well. We create illustrations. So in the past, they've mostly gone to live on in textbooks and be printed on paper. But now, a lot of those illustrations will also be repurposed into e-textbooks. And a lot of that content is now gonna be interactive or three-dimensional. So the student will be able to engage a lot more with the content, which is great. So as an illustrator or um, a media designer, we have to definitely keep up with the current trends in publishing. It is very technical in a lot of ways. You know, our illustrations have to be very accurate. Um, we have people checking them and students learning from them. So 
Um, it's very important that they're technically accurate and well executed, but at the same time, there is an element of creativity and style and sort of that unspoken um, feeling that an illustration gives you. So I feel like it's, it's this very unique combination of very technical and um, very creative work. I didn't even know that this job existed or, or this whole career field. And that's what everyone says to me now when, when I tell them what I do, everyone says, oh, well, I guess someone had to draw those textbook illustrations. <laughs> and uh, so it was, a, it was a perfect sort of union of uh, my, both of my passions of art and science together in a professional setting.